I'm joined by Matt Hendricks, who is Senior Vice President, National Sales at Sprott Asset Management. How are you, Matt? Pretty good, John. It's been quite a week. We have a lot of concern showing in markets before this election. The volatility has spiked up. And you have some facts on the indices, Matt. Yes, John. We hit the ninth day in a row yesterday that the S&P 500 was down. That has not happened since 1980. Now, I will say that even those those nine days added up together were only about a minus three. And seeing how back in 2008, the last time we had an eight-day loss in a row, it equated to about 24% of the S&P. So it certainly hasn't been a deep dive, but it's concerning. And I certainly believe that it's the uncertainty leading up to this U.S. election. We've got oil sort of rolling over. we got the volatility index spiking. The uh, so-called FANG stocks, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, collectively lost $100 billion of market cap last week. So people are selling out of those big growth names. And now more than ever, having defense in your portfolio is paramount. Taking a look at good defensive situations, I think that we should talk about the Sprott Alternative Income Fund, which is a combination of very interesting alternative fixed income strategies. Could you give us a bit of an idea on that one? Right, John. As we talked, I believe, last week, the problem with bonds, these long-only, long-duration bonds are going to get killed sooner than later, and people need to really have a good look at their portfolios because they will not act well. The 30-year run in these bonds is over, and really with interest rates at zero, you can't go to GICs to get a risk-free return anymore. So more and more people globally are turning to what we call alternative income investments, and we are the leaders in Canada, John, with these investments. We have three different distinct sleeves, two of them based on private debt, and we've bundled them all up together and, and put them in this new Sprott Alternative Income Fund. And the returns have been fantastic. Volatility is low, and it just turns out great, great so high single-digit returns, net of fee. And I highly recommend that anybody listening talk to their advisor and get more information or give me a call to learn more about this strategy. Now, could you tell us about the four components in this fund? Right. Sleeve number one is our private credit fund, which is based on asset-based lending. Sleeve two is our bridging fund, which is based on factoring. Uh, Sleeve number three is the income opportunities fund, where the manager buys quality corporate bonds and then has an overlay on top of that. And the fourth is a fund that we talked about many times in the show, Scott Colburn's Diversified Bond Fund. So we put all those together in different percentages and tested them, and uh, they test very, very well. And it's been very challenging to find yield recently, and the four underlying strategies have generated yield consistently over their history. For sure. This also comes with a 6% distribution if the clients uh, want or need income. It's a great strategy, and as I say, uh, I'm more than happy to talk to anybody uh, deeper about it. And, of course, this strategy is eligible for registered plans. Uh, It is, John, but I will say it's for our accredited clients only. So, again, talk to your advisor about what accreditation means, or as I say, uh, please look me up at Sprott.com and we'll have a a talk about it. And telephone number to reach you? Uh, John, I'm always reachable toll-free at 866-299-9906, and again at um, Sprott.com. And I also wanted to mention again, John, my friends at Iyer Financial, so they're doing their three seminars about the Nortel Choice that we talked about last week. Their website is nortelchoices.ca, and they're having seminars on November 9, 16, and 17. So that starts next week. So please visit nortelchoices.ca and sign up for this free seminar. Well, that's great, Matt. Thanks so much, and we'll look forward to a very interesting week. And we wish our listeners the very best in the period ahead. It's going to be a tough one. Absolutely. Uh, Wednesday morning at 9.30 when the bell rings is going to be a very interesting time. Take care. Thank you.